Void Stranger update queued. That's pretty cool. Void Stranger version 1.0.2 is now live. Bug fixes. Four bullet points completely covered in spoilers. <laughs> <laughs> Slightly altered the way certain enigmatic objects would react to players' actual. What are we doing? Oh no! So I got some tea steeping at the moment. I got that caramel, caramel blend with a little bit of honey in it. Uh. Yeah. So I guess here's my disclaimer, right? Um, as you can see from the extremely normal set of suggestions to my left, I'm pointing to the right, cameras are weird. Uh, I'm going to be doing my best to get through this under my own power. And if you've heard me stress about the idea of playing puzzle games on stream before, you will know that my own assessment of my ability to do that is pretty minimal, right? <laughs> so I'm gonna have to ask everybody to please be patient with my dumb ass and, like, try to do a minimum of throttling me when I don't understand basic things. Because, I'll be frank, I'm biased going in. I expect to enjoy this and be surprised by it because I enjoyed and was surprised by Zero Ranger quite a lot. And I'd like to preserve that surprise for as long as I can. So that's cool. I think my tea is probably ready-ish at the moment. Next puzzle game stream is Steven Slauson. <laughs> I watched the whole fucking Joseph Anderson ramble about that game, and it solidly convinced me that it would never be my thing, but I respect that it exists. Hold on one second, I'm gonna grab my mug. So the other thing about the system erasure experience is that I literally have never launched this game before. So there's a really good chance that it's just going to do something that makes no sense or makes it stop functioning the moment that I click on it. So, yeah. If, if you need to dip because you realize that this is your shit, then... Go right ahead. Also, I don't have a normal set of arrow keys for this game. Is that going to be a problem? <laughs> they are extremely under a layer. There's a mechanic in this game that makes it do something when you open it. <laughs> Hopefully, that something is the game opening. I had to activate Toho mode to play this comfortably. All right, well. Let's go ahead and open Edge. One time every 200 years. To open fucking remap keys and give myself a fucking normal arrow key layer. Yes, please connect to my soul three. Yeah, it's my, my keyboard does not have a set of arrow keys on the base layer. I've got them under like a function layer because when I use arrow keys, it's when I'm programming and I like having access to them from the home row. Which key am I more likely to not need, comma or period? I guess one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five
we'll do it like this, right? Arrow keys Z and enter for this one. All righty. I'm going to significantly damage the key map that I have to use for my fucking Unity editor binds. We're just going to make that. Where is the fucking transparent key code? Why did I not think about needing arrow keys for a fucking Sokoban game? This is... This is how I know that there's no hope for me, just like in the general case. Also, do you like the Tales from the Crypt lighting that I'm getting from this light mode key remapper? <laughs> now, does it have controller support? All right, let's find out. Let's just hit this button and see. Let me take a sip of my tea first. Hot. This is extremely sweet. Wow. That's candy. Yeah, wow. All right. Let's see about this shit. <laughs> That's a very small window. Is that the Game Maker preview, or is it... Okay, I think this is a game window. Hey, wait a second! I've heard this one before. Oh, you're in a weird aspect ratio, aren't you, you little bitch? <laughs> is it really exactly this song? Let's have a talk about continuity for a second. For those who don't immediately recognize this, all that I will say is that this is likely the last music track that you will hear in Zero Ranger. All right, uh... Oh! Hey! Love you guys. All right. Yes, please. That's... That option should exist in every game! Two weirdos from Finland did it, so can you! <laughs> Alright. Let's see. I'm almost scared to put this thing into full screen because of the weird aspect ratio shit. But I also kind of want to be immersed. Let's see if it immediately changes the resolution of all four of my monitors. Hey, it worked. Game maker kind of based? All right, timer, counter, palette. <laughs> All right. So like, whoa, that is a striking yellow. Why are the other names censored? Don't worry. There just aren't colors. Colors are non-canon. Yink. I think it's yellow and pink is just used as a contrasting accent color, probably. Named after finished slurs. 1.01, yellow was patched to be more pleasing. I understand. All right, excellent. 10, 10, 10. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Move 
movement, tap, probably different hold delays as well. All right. Music is a bit loud compared to your voice. Okay, I can get that for you real quick. Is this, uh... We'll wait for the next dramatic swell of chords, but y'all can let me know whether this is better. Is that indicator at the bottom menu depth? In the bottom left? Fascinating. <laughs> All right. So it looks like we're good to go. Are you ready? I... God damn it, I hope so. <laughs> If this gets meta on me in a scary way at any point, I'm coming to Finland. I just want you to know. Does the game exit if you pick no? Did they do it again? Good question. Oh, okay. <laughs> well. Engrave your brand. I've been given the power to create art. There's no way it's ever gonna fit. So we'll go with that. Let's, just in case, let's make it fill the area. All done. Sure. I don't think I can get a question mark in there. So be it. Okay, man! <laughs> I sure hope that doesn't have shocking gameplay implications in 8 to 12 hours. <laughs> I feel like I'm correct to be suspicious. All right, so that was Earth. Got it. <laughs> oh, man. Giant fucking square hole in the ground, huh? All right. Successfully unsettling sound design. I would definitely rather be in a hole in the ground than dealing with whatever that is. Ow. All right, so I'm not on the grid yet. The mural is filled with inscriptions. Deciphering them seems like a futile effort. <laughs> I like how they just tell you outright, maybe don't fuck with this one. Oh, hello there. How's it hanging? Yeah? You acquired a strange rod. Simply holding it makes you feel uneasy. Something is wrong. Oh. Huh. Well. <laughs> Me too, honestly. Welcome to the mechanic! Wait, I can just pick up the stairs! <laughs> but I have to put them down in a hole. <laughs> All right. Congrats on not having this mechanic anywhere in any marketing. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, 
This is your bail point number one for people who thought it was just gonna be Sokoban, I guess. <laughs> Bug. A locust idol. It looks rather tasty, actually. Who knows, maybe it'll come in handy in the long run? So we got a rock. And apparently not much to do with it just yet. Alright. I'm wondering, do I get to... okay. It's important for me to know how the fuck edge cases work. Literally edge cases. I don't like that detune. I feel like I'm being menaced. Alright. I guess I'll worry about that in a second. Aha. Uh -huh. Alright. But I can only do this with a certain facing. Oh, shit. Ha, huh. all right. Can I bridge like this? Hold on, give me a second. Oh, huh. Hello, here's the sub base in case you were wondering where it was. <laughs> ha, so my brand's in the corner, by the way. Just in case you didn't catch that one. End it all! Take a guess what that did. <laughs> guess who expected restart? Alright, so, uh, game over. I lost, right? Here's the game maker stamp. Wow, it boots right here, huh? Alright, so learning to think in places where I can change my facing is gonna get important, isn't it? I think I need this still here so I can face towards this to place the last block. Was that the trick? <laughs> yeah. Oh. Motherfucker put coyote time in Sokoba. Wait, what's even the purpose of being able to run off in the first place? I'm sure I'll figure it out. Hmm. Something going on with that rock? Let's grab one of these. Maybe I should carry a tile just to be sure. Sometimes. 
stairs located. Alright. So they can be pushed into holes. Which means... can actually bridge is through there, so it seems easiest to grab a tile like this, right? Eeb, you fucking mad, man. You did it again. Oh, huh. <laughs> hey, out of curiosity, if, if that's not a quick reset... Is it better to... Yeah. I think it's better to bridge across this way. But can I? Yeah, I can just... Ooh, wait a second. But if I step over the stair... Okay. Let's just relocate that there for convenience's sake. Alright. Here's your option, bro. Alright. We have some sort of marked square. It's okay, stand back, everyone. I played Link's Awakening. <laughs> uh... Oh, hell, what do I do? Um... Well, there's certainly no coming back up if I go down. Uh... How much can I work this out in my head before I start moving things around. I don't have any rewind or anything. I think with the way this is laid out, I might be... I might need to be able to delete some of these. I don't think they can all be pushed out correctly, or... No, I think there's... There, there's a path, I think. It's the center. Maybe. Uh, can I reason about this? Don't worry, I've played the opening floors of NetHack several dozen times. Um, through there, then... Haha, I tricked you! It was actually going to have abstract reasoning the entire time! And I still don't know what that marked square is. reason about it like this. I get the feeling that the answer I'm about to arrive at is no. No. Is there anything pushable that I can still destroy? I feel like what this is actually teaching me is that I need to be emotionally okay with walking away sometimes. <laughs> I mean, if I wall myself in, I don't see any way to restart here. I can't even die, so... I 
I think that's now completely fucking intractable. And I just did it because I wanted to feel something. Yeah, where the fuck am I gonna put this except back where I got it? That's right. I can't... Uh, there's gotta be a hole for me to move a hole. But obviously this isn't fruitful. Alright. Well... Oh? Got it. Left to right, huh? You could jump into a hole. That's true, I guess I do always have the option to kill myself. <laughs> Alright. Is it time for tile counting? I definitely need to entrap this one, right? dead uh, turn to turn around. Another sparkly square. I didn't successfully interact with the last one. Hmm. How to reason about this. Let's remove that aspect of the game for a second. <laughs> so in order to, like, sneak in here, I do need a path. Thank you very much! This game is louder than my alerts. That never happens. So do I need to entrap these to like... Yeah, okay. There's enough holes that I can... I think I can do everything at once. Wait, that was my chance, wasn't it? Because I'm up here now. Oh, well. Owie. Tough one. Can I open this again? You acquired nothing. Message received, man, okay. I think that I get in and get out, right? Oh, I can advance turns by bonking. So let's make myself safe there. Hmm. But I still don't know what this does. Well, now that part of the route is safe, do I pick it up? Okay. Um... I see. I see. Huh. So... Collectibles, collectibles, and yet more collectibles, huh? 
I like how my fucking room matches this color palette right now, by the way. I'm just gonna talk about that briefly. Uh... So I can't fill those holes. Yeah, so with, with what I've got right now, anything that doesn't have, like, a too wide approach to it can't be interacted with just yet. Maybe I grab one of these. Nah, because I think the sensible way to do this is to catch a... I can advance the cycle whenever I want, so... And this is the only place I can do that. Here with no walls against, though. Hmm. Actually, how do I go about this? Uh... Can I add some... Can I add something to the cycle? to drop this so I can pick this up. And that's still a tile that I have. Okay. Literally, why was this mechanic not in the trailers? What the fuck? I guess this truly is David Sterling's sex too. <laughs> well, there's nothing I can do but push that, right? Oh, I have a fucking. <laughs> no fair advancing turns like that, I guess. Yep. Alright, so I think I had the right idea, but... Do I need to do something else first? Okay, if I move directly in, or if I'm adjacent. I kind of felt like I only had one way to test that, so that's okay. And then, once I've done this, I can cut this cycle here. Do I need to pick up the stairs to pick that up? Because I think I need to, like, back up. Uh... Let's, let's reason about this, or attempt to. <laughs> Locked in Mortal Kombat forever. Do I want to lock you in there? Can I do that? Because I can't move into you like this. And now I'm one tile behind, so if I turn, I'm fucked, but I'll catch this. Okay. And then I have to release the fucker. Got it. Ha. Huh. This is... My brain is expanding in a way that I currently find a little uncomfortable. I I get the feeling that I'm gonna have some revolu revelation about this very basic set of rules, like an hour from now. Right. So. 
This set of shit is here so I can entrap it, I think. Huh? Uh, managing fucking, uh, the timing of your facing is... Wait, what the fuck did I think this was actually going to do, though? Well, that, like... I can't exactly just run it down, right? I am a genius. <laughs> Today on Tyron learns about even numbers. I need to burn one turn in the wrong place, but then like... Because where are the locations where I don't get run down by this? Oh, I can catch it. I can catch it on a turn cycle. That's what's going on. <laughs> Hold on. So that's when it's facing away. So will it move down if I place this? Ooh. I jumped. I misunderstood the assignment. <laughs> oh no. I'm so sorry. Wait, hold on. Can I just, like... What do you think you're accomplishing with this, either? There we go. Okay! Fucking run it down. Pick up the stairs for fun. <laughs> Alright, so I'm looking a little bit low on locust idols at the moment. What are you? A problem to be solved. I feel like I have just made that impossible. I needed to, like, be able to push that back or something, right? It's not another cycle trick. Alright, let's just move on. Uh, <laughs> these are starting to get uncomfortably close. What is this doing here if its only function is to be pushed? Somewhat straightforward answer is, it's for something else, douchebag. But, what? Can I roll this over a snake? I think this is the only way for me to, like, not die in this configuration, but... Hey, wait a second. Alright, so if you haven't learned about this yet, now's your chance, I suppose. Alright, so build a bridge without awakening the fucker. Uh, problem. How am I gonna turn when I get here?
All right. So, same principle as the last time, right? I just get it to turn. Wait, I need to drop this to pick that up, though. Is this okay? Restart the cycle a second time, I guess. Okay. Hi, Az. I'm having problems emotionally. <laughs> I have dodged this entire genre on stream for like a decade, so. Okay, this room sucks. This is just terrible. Nobody should be emotionally okay with this one. Wait a second. Uh... You have one turn frame! I'm a genius! <laughs> oh no. Huh. So after stupid enemy shit, this one seems weirdly relaxing. tea that you have today. It's the caramel bedtime bullshit with honey, and it literally tastes like I melted down a candy shop and put it into a mug. Alright, so... Is this a completely a red herring? Is that entire section on the left just bullshit? I think it's bullshit. I think I just pick up the stairs, replace them with a regular tile, and then walk in. I still don't know what that thing in the fucking bottom left is, though, unless it's really- it really is just a pushable with, like, a foreboding appearance. Okay, so I'm gonna pick up the stairs. Yeah, I think that whole fucking cycle is for shit. There we go. I have a suggestion that's unrelated to solving the current puzzle. Go ahead! I wonder if I should brew another mug. Um, okay. So question number one. What is this? What's the trick? <laughs> you can probably check out a memory or two by this point. That's true, actually. Let's go ahead and go do that. So do I pay for these, or is it cumulative? Let's pick four to find out. Their payments. Cute. All right. Well, I definitely don't understand anything extra about what's going on. Yeah, it's too many, too many objects and rooms are being placed in ways that violate Occam's razor which could be just complete misdirection bullshit, but could also be that I actually fundamentally misunderstand something about the way the game is played. I'm afraid to go around this corner. Why did you do this to me? What's in the box? I jumped a little and it was the same thing as the last time. Um... 
So I feel like you just have to make a room like this eventually, right? And this hole, this hole is a one square approach, right? So I can't like... Can I just run? Wait, where do I, where would I even pick up? Well, here, right? And then... If I wanted to fucking lower myself. Whoops. Hey oh <laughs> Yeah. So now I can use these pieces and, like, fill the space. I don't know if that actually accomplishes anything for me at the moment. Well, it means that I can wall these off one step at a time if I just find a place to put their corresponding blocks. And I guess the holes that I'm creating can be used to uh, do that one step at a time. Because I've run out of space over there at this point, but now I have enough room to maneuver that I can just do this. <laughs> this is... This is advanced level video game discourse. I like it here. Alright, and so... Now these are all fair game to build with. Hey, who's that? You look friendly-ish. Or at least, you are not literally a snake. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Alright. <laughs> cool? <laughs> what happened here? <laughs> I was rewarded for this action. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> that goes on your permanent record. A lone birch tree stands in the void. This area feels safe, and since you've been traveling for quite some time already, would you like to rest for now? This is the touch grass. Oh. <laughs> if I hit yes, is the game just gonna... Slowly, surely, dreams embrace you. Goodbye, void stranger. This game has now closed without me asking it to close twice. I have 41 minutes on record. <laughs> okay. You shut the hell up about I'm scared right now. If this game reopens itself without me asking it to, I will shit and cry. That's not acceptable. Alright, so so much for touching grass. Oh? Hmm. So now I'm afraid to push- wait a minute, I'm not on the grid. That means this is the past, right? Lady Grey, thank heavens you've arrived. The princess, she's out of control. Please do something, you're our only hope. Yeah? All I could do was run away. Alright, uh... What's gonna happen when I walk into doors? 
The air is full of menace. You enter the room for- That's not true, though! <laughs> So, uh, how we doing? You need to get out from under that blanket. It's 3 p.m. Prepare to die! Uh-huh. Eve has arrived! <laughs> uh... So I've played an RPG before. This is where I die, right? One of the princess's many tantrums. I see. Aha. Uh -huh. So what's going on here? <laughs> this is extremely goofy? An all-out attack. Hey, I've played RPGs before, right? What is this doing in the game? Someone's just having a rough day, I suppose. Take a bath! Wins football. True! Now's your chance. Just making sure. Go jiggle elsewhere. This is so me when I. Yeah? I am certainly dead. Oh! Numbers have arrived. Is this meta? I haven't decided yet. Alright, stack it up. There is no puzzle, die. If this is gonna randomly turn out to actually have mechanics in like 10 hours, I'm gonna be very confused. Understood. Hey, we got there. Ish. So we're just gonna chill at 2 HP for a bit, I suppose. Will it happen in time? Winner, winner. I bet you cheated. Now, now, your highness. Such a sour note doesn't suit a lady of your stature. So... Bite me. True statement.
Thanks. It was starting to get really boring without you around. I'd wager the guards beg to differ. Always the same thing with you, Ellie. For a few days and all hell breaks loose. Those bumbling idiots are no fun. Land a few solid hits and they immediately scream for their lives. And that know-it-all four eyes is no better. Uh, princess, you mustn't kick the poor guards around. Time to take... <laughs> oh. Wait. <laughs> no, you're actually a disgusting need, okay? Understood. He even dared to imply I might smell. Princesses don't smell. Is that... <laughs> Wait, what are we doing here? That's real. How about we jump the ship and run away, just you and me, so we can do whatever we like, go wherever. Here we go again. Or maybe you just don't want to go with me, is that it? That's not the point. Then what is it? Look at you being responsible. No. <laughs> you really could use a bath, though. Shut. Welcome back to Tree. The tree has withered. Better move on. <laughs> I see you were very careful to, uh... <laughs> give me absolutely no opportunities to place anything here. Anyway, back to Sokoban! With no music. And... Hmm. Well, there's no obvious objective. But... How easy would it be to just lock myself in this room if I just pushed that? <laughs> At 75 hours in, I'm gonna figure out, like, oh, if you place the stairs in a... <laughs> different locations, something happens. Hmm. So if I want to get up to whatever the fuck that is, up at the top, what's my plan, right? I could push that boulder one square up and then... But then it's all one square accesses from there. So I don't have the ability to build around it. And for that matter, what the fuck are these? I still don't know. Alright, I still have a fucking block. Well. When in doubt, follow the path, I suppose. Uh... Does that give me some type of leverage when I'm looped around? Hmm. Because I can't place there yet. I'd have to push to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah, it's all one square accesses from there as well. Why the fuck the Sokoban game have coyote time? Uh... Maybe I can build across from the center instead? Wait, but how did I get here in the first place, then? Oh god, what did this room even look like when I was first in here? Is there... Ooh. 
Pick up the stairs, douchebag. So it was all a red herring? Or what? And for that matter, what do I do with that once I've gotten there? The mural is badly damaged. Deciphering its, its inscription seems almost impossible. What's in you, you fucking whore? What meta puzzle is present that I'm not prepared for? Almost, but not quite impossible, huh? Wait a minute. How big are brands? One, two, three, four. Six by six? So, there's that, I suppose. Not that I could tell you anything about what that actually means, but, uh, there's a correspondence, I suppose. Should I be taking photos? Well, never hurts, right? And down we go. Hey there! Um... So, like, we've been dealing with snakes, but this seems like a categorically different thing. I feel watched. You're a brave little one. Usually your kind will stay far away when they see me. Pleased to meet you. My name is Tail. My scales tell me you aren't an ordinary lost soul. If you don't mind me prying, what's your purpose here? Maybe I can offer some help. You tell her you're looking for a young woman. Oh. A woman did pass by recently. Unfortunately, she ran away screaming before I could get a good look at her. You could try catching up to her. Although I can't guarantee you two will end up in the same place. These, wall these walls defy reason. They're ever moving. Or so I've been told. Try not to shove those eggs too forcefully. They are close to hatching. I know what you're thinking, but I didn't lay them. They simply fall from above every now and then. Sometimes I catch a few and see what will come out of them. And if you listen closely, you can hear their thoughts. It's so exciting. Try it. Maybe you'll be able to hear them, too. <laughs> um... Thanks! Huh. You... move toward me, don't you? Hey! Hey! <laughs> Why did it do that? <laughs> That's not acceptable! That's just thoroughly not okay. <laughs> Slap base out of nowhere? <laughs> okay. I remember these panels from the trailer, so I have some idea of what I'm dealing with. Let's take one from here. Yep. Uh, 
So the only two square access I have here is the panel directly above this one, right? <laughs> I could definitely just go. But there's not really any coming back from it. I can't pick up the stairs. Um... I'm gonna get a headache trying to reason about this without being able to move. So let's experiment. Did that one glimmer? Okay, sometimes they just do that, I suppose. And they won't explode until I move away. Got it. Be a good time. Yeah. Now, if they only break when I move away, I should be able to place a block fine, right? Yeah. So... I don't like that those are on my screen currently, and I would prefer that they didn't. So when I move away from this, it's going to break, huh? The only way I can possibly have a two-square access... Okay. I think I get it? Oh, that's a lie. That wasn't a glass panel. Okay. Okay, changing facing won't break them either. It only is when you move off. I was overthinking that a bit. I can just run through after I pick that one up. Hey, wait a second. Uh... Can I build back using only the tiles on the right side? I feel as though there should be enough, but can I access them all? Alright, well, first priority is how to fucking pick up the memory tile without actually busting my only route in. Or do I get it on the return? Because the obvious path is to pick it up, fucking up left, down take, and then just consume the rest of the glass completely to step over to the chest area. But can I actually get out like that? Well... Will it help if I still have these glass tiles on the left? Oh, it is the Pokemon gimmick, isn't it? Wait a minute. How am I gonna turn? Shit. Yeah, that was my opportunity. I needed to have a way to stay connected to this two-square island so I could actually change the path. Like this, even if I can build back, I'm not going to be able to get down there. So, I guess that one's a wash. Those are nice chords. Okay, uh... So this is gonna be the- wait, hold on. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> so, it's good that I made that leap early, I guess. What do I do here? Because I need a two square access to actually build across. Which means as long as I go straight through, I think it's fine. for me to have another tile coming in here? I made a mistake, because the corners of these are all glass. I don't think I can actually... Yeah, I can't change facing to face a grabbable tile without stepping away. Am I dead? I think I might see it. In any case, that chest's not important to me anymore, so... Wait, but this is the same problem, though, isn't it? Uh... <laughs> well, I've already made at least one irrevocable move, so... Um... Hmm... There is no way for me to get across here without breaking this panel and the one to the right of it. And there is no way for me to step onto the square two squares to my right without having picked something up, meaning that I'll be empty-handed when I get there, I think. So those are givens, as I understand it. That starting area is awfully wide. Am I meant to take a different approach? Do I have the space to maneuver to build across with uh, standard tiles instead? So I can double back and take them from behind me as I go? These are adjacent to walls, so they're not pushable. <laughs> uh, good fucking hell. Alright, take it easy, frog. That's... I'll send you an invoice, Eeb. Fuck! <laughs> I did notice that in all the trailer footage... B-035 fucking floor depth was just replaced with question marks. <laughs> okay, so I've been on this screen for about three and a half minutes, which 
in streamer time is roughly 85 quadrillion years. So let's reason about this. Let's really try to be intelligent for like a second. Right now with the way that I'm viewing this, it seems like I am dead. I think it's a respectable choice to keep that hidden, honestly. The solution that my brain is telling me right now is to walk off the edge and try to build a cross with standard tiles, but I don't think I have the maneuvering for that, I think. Because if I could... I need that hole in the center right to be filled. So that I can actually step onto the square above it with the right facing to place. So I need to be on that center square holding something. This... Two tile interval in front of me doesn't work for that, I think, because even if I step on the glass tile to turn around and pick something up, I won't have any space to turn around. It is only now that I bother to ask why I have HP, by the way. I read that message by mistake and now I understand. Ah, that sucks. I'd like to think that I would have gotten there, but... Wait, does that work? I think I read it and thought I understood it and just wasn't correct. It's true, I can pick up the corners here, it's just... There is the engine of a solution here. I don't think this is it. I think I am fucked, but... Huh. Wait a minute. <laughs> Great. <laughs> okay, um, my least favorite things in the whole world have arrived yet again to cause me untold suffering. You don't have to go all the way around the loop. Okay, um... So the only way I can be standing in front of that chest is if I place from the right side. And then... There is the fucking memory tile. I don't even know if I fuck with that. I don't know if I unleash whatever's standing there. For that matter, um, how? Well, if these things start horribly breaking the rules as soon as I start moving, I guess I'll have a different problem to deal with, so... 
That makes me so uncomfortable. You want to kill me so bad that you just don't even know about gravity. tile from this configuration because like I can just walk out of here and honestly I feel kind of emotionally like I should do that there's a solid tile behind the chest and it seems suspicious maybe I use it to loop around again It's worth the one attempt, certainly. The problem is that I don't actually have an object level plan for anything that's about to happen because I'm terrible. Well, I have no possible pickup except this glass tile, so it's take this, proceed down, or proceed right. Uh. Give him proceed down and proceed right seem like fail states. Let's... Man, you make me uncomfortable. Hey, wait a second. It was not until I got to this exact position that I realized exactly what I was staring at. That's not a fruitful line unless I'm holding something when I get here, though. And even then, I think it's probably bullshit. Um, is this actually resolvable from here? Uh, so if I place fucking northeast of that chest, it lets me loop around once, but I don't gain any useful facing from it. I think my idea was just, like, not good. Yeah, I think I probably just, like, walk out of here. But... I feel like there's an annoyingly functional brain teaser here. Is the solution simply to pick up the stairs? Well, there's no way. I'm just gonna walk out of here. Okay, so do you interact? Because that's gonna determine a lot of the pain that happens to me in the next several moments, right? turn. Alright. Changing your facing is not a trick that's useful in the way that I expected it to be. Like, it's still good to know about, absolutely, but... Okay, I can just duck down here and burn turns. 
and then push as far as I can this way. And now I have some resources to work with. Can I box you? <laughs> Wait a moment, I've caused a problem. Okay, well... You have arrived at part two of the thing that you're doing. Um... Do I get to do this in this comp I think I have to let it out and then build from the top row. Or... I still have a two-square interval. Wait, I can just fucking rebuild these glass as regular tiles. Does that work? Yeah, I have plenty of resources. In fact, like this, I can even rewall it off. Okay. Welcome to the narrow possibility space. No extras, at least. Well, this is about to give me a fucking headache, so... Five of these, huh? I would like to unlock the sixth one, so we'll do that next. I have decided this based on nothing. So this is simple enough, right? I just have to... I'm not given points of return here, but I'm given walls I can bump against to change the cycle. All I need to do is make sure that... Actually, hold on. How do I place to... Uh... Get out of trouble on the last row. Is it... Up through the left side of the glass and then use the... Glass 2 square? I feel like I'm approaching the right mode of thinking about some of this, but... I don't have a lot of room to move down there, which is a little worrying. I think I'd like to go in with something picked up. This will do. I just need to be safe on either of these rows, and it's okay. Yeah, now... Sure. I feel like I overthought that somehow. So obviously the only way for me to grab that tile in the upper left is by taking the top path to get there. I think I get shot if I go over the top, right? Let's see, one, two, three. Bottom path is fine, I think, but... Oh, 
Oh goodness gracious, how am I gonna get back? Well, I have this interval to work with. I know it may look like I'm fruitlessly shuffling tiles around in an attempt to fucking avoid my own demise, but that's exactly what I'm doing. This is how it's like to work in a warehouse. I think workplace safety is a little worse than the Amazon fulfillment joints. I've managed to accomplish nothing that is of any utility to anyone, but at least... And I can use this to turn, at the very least. So now I have to confront it, I guess. I swear to god, if this game turns into fucking mummy maze, 40 floors in. Can I dig myself in? Wait. Okay, so I can only have one hole at a time here because the whole floor is solid. Do you travel linearly towards me? I definitely failed to pick up on the behavior until now. You just run in a straight line, don't you? Is that what you do? Okay when you see me. Okay. <laughs> I... Bro, I am so glad we're done with glass for now. I was about to fucking have a conniption. <laughs> and stay out. What is... Alright. <laughs> Even the simple solutions give me the idea that I'm missing something. Interesting seeing various playthroughs and seeing which color schemes are preferred. I might switch mine. I don't know. Uh, are you pre-activated because I started in your line of sight? Will you turn to reach me? You were not pre-activated, but if I step back up, then I'm fucked forever, right? I think I see it. There. Huh. Can I build a cross like that out? Ooh. 
Alright. That's not a fucking memory tile, is it? That's just a fucking boulder on glass. Or... is it? Yeah, because these both started glimmering in that way, and I went, uh-oh. Turn. Right. I don't have a two square. We're on the real shit. Coyote time in the Sokoban game. So this is bricked, right? Like I pushed that and then probably that ceases to exist. This isn't much better, but... I wonder if I'm just done when I run out of these fucking Locust Idols. So, there's two parts to this. The glass on the fucking lower path. Uh, I've been given a, uh... I have the glass two square to pick this up. You've got ten. What could go wrong? Uh, ten things. Eventually, you level up. I mean, the enemies seem to be doing more damage than would ever justify the existence of an HP system. I showed up with 10, I've got 7, and that's just what we have now. Everything but the floor does 999 on contact. The floor does 3. So maybe that's relevant, who knows. So what's the animating thing here? Uh, pushing that boulder off of that glass will destroy the glass. So I either need some way of traveling along the top path safely, or I need to be able to build in from the bottom, because walking in doesn't exist unless I can find some way of both. Wait a minute. You are a motherfucker? Wait, but I can't turn from there. Even if I make it to that bottom right corner, I can't place above me. But yeah, I've got some building material to work with. You're gonna break all that glass if you run at me, though. I don't have the room to turn. In any puzzle game where I just had a reset button, this would be move around until I feel like it clicks intuitively. But the idea of permanency has me a little paralyzed. Uh, if only you weren't there, you fucking prick. Wait a minute. 
If only you weren't there. Any sequence of moves that lets me get over there means I can get back. So... I feel like I'm in a cartoon right now. That moment actually happened to me. <laughs> Just checking. Dude, this is your fucking gym puzzle? I quit. <laughs> huh. So this one is interesting. My instinct? Okay, I need to be empty-handed to pick up the memory tile. Hmm. Well, the only way I can actually pick it up is by approaching it from the square two to the right. So getting there while facing in the correct direction is the tricky thing. But it's all glass the moment you move. Hmm. There might be a way for me to step around and replace a tile that gets broken when it charges at me. I think that's probably the engine. Are you enjoying this riveting gameplay? So if I just left, take, bait it down... Wait, I don't even have to do that much, do I? Don't overthink it. <laughs> Just a bunch of me rambling to myself on the wrong track before I go, huh, or I could just win. Then... <laughs> There's no memory tile here, right? Which means that all I have to do is take in such a way that leaves an empty square on that lane. I don't like that! <laughs> Just the same room? <laughs> Alright, uh... So I can only take the memory tile by stepping in from the bottom. Meaning that that needs to actually exist. Hmm. P puzzle that requires you to step on every glass tile. Welcome to Pokemon Sapphire! Um... Do I have the space required to just... Alright, well... It's fucked now. 
but am I fucked? Yeah, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> Although I have to check, I got owned by take the corners and don't go all the way around the loop before, but there's no loop to be gone around here. Dang. Alright, I think I missed that opportunity. Speaking of, actually... We got six of these. How about a wider frame? All right. So the digital date stamp at the corner of this as a background storytelling element is really interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Bold of you to just date the game. This one doesn't. Okay. What the hell am I doing here? Oh my god. Help me. Alright, uh... As far as the chest goes, I think... The cleanest way to handle that is just to make sure that I have a return path. Which I think I can do by pre-pushing only a couple things. Although I might need a pickup first. Is that on a solid square? It is, because it's not glimmering. Doing that didn't move me. Hmm. Did I make a horrible mistake that I will later go on to regret? Well, that's only ever gonna cause me problems, I think. Place and then got a little scared for a second. <laughs> this sucks. All right, um. So you'll take out all the glass in your way. I let you. But I can also take a real panel to give myself a little bit more space. There's no extra objectives here, so my instinct is just to cut the knot and charge right through the center. I just don't know whether I can make enough garbage moves. I think I might have underthought this one. I don't get to place anywhere anymore, do I? Well, okay, so... I've got to be carrying an extra. Hmm. 
then... It's about finding the space. It's easy enough to take care of one of them. I don't know why I thought I would do anything with that, but that, that tile is just gone now. I get the feeling like this room is going to cause me a great amount of grief. Okay, that is a move. I feel like it should be so simple to do this in only one lane, but... I'm not sure if that intuition is, like, real. Because hmm. I can safely back up one, two. There's only one location in this entire grid where I can make unlimited wall push moves to bait something. Actually, wait, no, that's not true. There's two. thinking about this in an off-by-one kind of way. I can handle this one at least. I don't think I want to be holding something here. If I go topside, I can take care of that one. But then do I have any room left? No, I do, as long as I take something. Do I? Yeah, straight lines only. Whew. Man, the glass tiles did not take long to come back. So... Is this pick up the stairs? I don't know if it is, though. Yeah, shit, because I can't turn around. Unless I can give myself a two square like that. Okay, so that's pick up the stairs. But how about the rest? I can just grab tiles from behind me once I, like, build out that glass, but... but I need somewhere to turn. Well... That can quite literally be arranged.
I think this is okay now. Yeah, there we go. Why are you here, exactly? I wonder if I just made an irrevocable move. Because now I can't take this anymore. But what would I have done with that if I had... Yeah, don't, don't overthink it. So, limited chance to build here. Uh... No, seriously, what are you doing here? like intense thinking, but what actually happened in my head there was actually no thinking, which is quite bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> Let's use reasoning skills. So... First order strategy, just build a bridge back so I can work with all the material that I've got on the right side. Seems unavoidable to step on this. Now I'm holding this and I don't actually understand why. I think it might be bad that I'm holding this. Could use it to take an otherwise untakeable tile. <laughs> when I get there. Hold on. Is that what this represents? My ability to take this and then... How are you going to turn, you fucking whore? Okay. I just realized that I didn't think about that problem at all when I got there. Hmm. The red herring boulders. Uh, <laughs> I am just gonna have wall-to-wall -wall problems here. Um... Well, I can build like this, but the primary thing that accomplishes is destroying a bunch of glass. This set of actions makes no sense. Okay, there's the engine of an idea there, but... Might need a little bit more prep work. Take it easy, side. Um... I obviously need to bait that fucker out. Is it okay if I just do this? Well, now it's isolated. And now it's dead. My remaining two squares are... 
they don't represent stellar opportunities. But I can replace this. Oh, hold on. Okay, I can make that a real bridge. Have I accomplished anything useful in doing this? It gives me more material. These are my only remaining two squares, so... Use them wisely, I suppose. Is there any useful action from here? That seems like the opposite of something useful, but only as like a vague heuristic. Uh. Hmm. Okay, uh, question one. Is the floor still winnable from this position? <laughs> this is the only question, actually. <laughs> I can step out onto a real tile twice, okay. All I have to do is strictly double back. But that's... That's not a good set of tiles either, though. Um, shit, maybe I should have done it in the other order? Question mark truly is the vibe, huh? So this feels pretty wrecked. Um, Cause I don't have another tile grouping I can use, so I can't move off of this annoying right angle. Uh, okay, so like there's an idea here. My body is resisting, just running off the edge. I need to step onto that right boulder tile, facing right with something in hand. I think baiting this thing across the glass is probably okay. But I can also definitely bait it if I get there through another means. <laughs> so let's reorganize these into a more useful shape for myself. So I have permanent tiles here. Is this enough? Can I make a permanent two tile here? By like s placing above the right boulder and then. I don't have anything to take from there though. Can I cut the knot and just go around? Is that. 
ever an option. Yeah, maybe I can just... Wait a minute. Hold on. <laughs> I think I needed to take there. Um... So I kind of did the same thing that I did last time. Shit. This feels sort of intuitively like a failure condition here. Wait a minute, I can give myself a new two tile like this. Am I holding? I feel like there were a lot of ways to do that. Now that I think about it from the perspective of, like, building up the corner. Ha. Huh. I'm sure I will successfully generalize from this experience and not stare blankly at the exact same situation later. So, like, what's the trick here? Do I not just walk to the stairs? What is this? That boulder's not pushable. Is this to do all the glass? It's probably nothing. I don't know. I see it. There. Okay. Oh no, switches. with you over there. What if I simply rolled a boulder over someone? Hey, wait a second. do this. She won't talk to you anymore. I see. Oh, okay. So much for the lore, I guess. Oh. A lone birch tree. I wonder if I do touch grass. Yeah. Yeah, I might touch grass. I definitely feel like... <laughs> two hours of this might be the upper limit where my brain fully functions. I wonder how long it's going to take me to play this if I have to do it in two hour chunks. Please don't answer questions that I ask. 
There's one achievement in Void Stranger, and 100% of players have it. <laughs> this is the fucking opposite of the last one. <laughs> Alright. Uh... I suppose next time... More weird lore, and more me pushing people before talking to them. I'm having a pretty good time so far. I wish I had taken down the number of that one fucking floor. But... I'm honestly a little bit scared to discuss this game with anyone right now. Because... I kind of just want to chill out in my bubble for a bit. All right. Fucking get out of here. Go by Void Stranger or something. Uh, thanks for the company. I realized that some of you are like me, which means that for some of you, not providing hints was incredibly fucking painful. So I respect you for your restraint and appreciate that. Please only listen to that last sentence if you are actually in pain, in pain. I still appreciate you if you weren't, but for different reasons. Alright, get the fuck out of here. Good night.